This is Jean Calment. She was born in France in 1875. When she was one year old, the telephone was invented. When she was four years old, the light bulb was patented. When she was nine, the steam turbine was invented. At the age of 20, we had wireless communication for the first time. The Zeppelin and the Wright brothers with fixed wing air also both happened in her 20s. Uh, essentially, all modern medicine, except general anesthesia, happened in Jean's lifetime. So x-rays were discovered when she was in her 20s. When she was in her 50s, we discovered the antibiotic properties of penicillin. This is crazy. It means that up until she was 50 years old, you could have died from a cut. And once we had this discovery of penicillin, everything changes overnight. This uh, discovery changes uh, the quality of life for humans uh, for the rest of time. In terms of information technology, it wasn't until Jean's 60s that we had the first programmable computer. And then in her 70s, we invented the transistor that has allowed computers to become smaller and cheaper and faster in the years since. When she was 90, we came up with email. And at the time of Jean's 100th birthday, we came up with the internet. Jean died in 1997, 122 years young, making her the oldest, the oldest person to uh, ever have been uh, recorded to have lived. In her lifetime, she saw incredible innovation, and that innovation corresponds to uh, complete overhauls in the way that humans live and the quality of our life. So for example, 200 years ago, the vast majority of people on Earth were hungry every day. Today, only one in 10 people on the planet live in extreme poverty. Likewise, 200 years ago, almost everyone on the planet was illiterate, and now almost everyone on the planet is literate. In terms of lifespan, when Jean Calment was born, the average life expectancy in Western Europe was 38 years, just 38 years. By the time she died, that more than doubled to 77. So technology changes rapidly in one person's lifespan, and that change leads to enormous um, changes in the way that humans live their lives. So today, we have about 100 million people born on Earth every year. Given that lifespans have continued to extend since Jean Calment's uh, death, we can reasonably anticipate that one of these 100 million people born today will live as long as Jean Calment did. And so that child will live into the 2140s or beyond. What change will this child bear witness to? And how will that change impact the life of humans?